Yes, you love. Give me your chest. This is this Twit. This is Twit. <laughs> Bandwidth for This Week in YouTube is provided by Cashfly at C A C A G F L Y dot com. Is this week in YouTube, episode three, recorded April 28th, 2013. Fugly is forever. It's time for this week in YouTube, the show where we dissect, discover, and learn about YouTube. You know my new mom? Oh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the host of the show, Lamar Wilson. Hey, guys, crazy face. <laughs> crazy face, Lamar. <laughs> Good to see you. We were talking before the show about how, like, on uh, your videos now... There, you have, you, and I think this is brilliant. 300 channel, plus. There's always a great picture of you making, you know, like, extreme faces and big letters that make you want to watch the video. It's a very smart technique, I think. Thank oh. you very much. You still uh, don't watch the video. No, but I, but I would if I were that kind of person. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, also here, Chad uh, Johnson. Hey. Who hey, does make derpy faces? Dude, what do you do on your YouTube videos? I don't make videos. Oh, well, there you go. Are you on the show? Okay. I don't know. I just said, you know, I need to ask you guys some advice eventually. Let me just show you. If you go to youtube.com slash Lamar Wilson, uh, the, the, is this a, this video that you put on the top? That's like a trailer video, right? I haven't made a trailer yet, so I'm, I'm using that one. This as is a, great. As a, as a feature video. This makes me want to, this makes me want to love you or just feel sorry for you. I can't. Oh, mostly frills. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. And by the way, this passes the test of uh, a great video. And I learned this when I was in television for years. TV executives always watch with the sound off. They hmm. never, they never, they don't have time to watch TV. So they always have oh, it running when they watch it. So it's got to, for, if you want to make it in real TV, you got to look good with the sound off. Well, see, that's one of the reasons I, I get teased all the time, but this is why I use so many expressions and gestures. It's because I want to emulate that in case someone is not. I'm not teasing you. I'm, I'm admiring yeah. you. No, no, I know you're not, but I, I get teased for the gestures, which I'm like, hey, if you were in theater, if you are watching a play, you would see all kinds right. of gestures. Big. That's, yeah, it's big. You that's that's it why I, I wear my makeup like really thick. I do, too. Make sure to, to <laughs> yeah. you know, show off the eyebrows. I do, too. Oh, that's disturbing. Just like on a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually an Asian girl, but you would never know. No. Uh uh. So stage makeup. Folks. It's all about the stage makeup. I suspect that the other right. thing that he does, which I think is really again, this is all for advice for people who are YouTubers. Look at the big letters on the on the name of the show, and it, it, you know, truths, lie, my favorite video. It makes you want to watch. These are great little teases in a way for the show. Oh, thank you. And I noticed this is something you this is something you started doing recently, huh? Yes, because I, I you know as I'm doing that. Veda vlog every day in April, and I'm almost done. Dude, I got two more days. Don't stop. Yeah, don't well, stop. Been, You're getting 14, 15, 20,000 views each day. That that's is great. hard to do for doing daily. That's, yeah. that's actually not bad. That's not bad. So, yeah. yeah, and on top it's of that, great. You, you get, you get, you know, in three months, all right. 30 of those videos, even if they only get 100 video views each, that's. Three, you know, 3,000 videos. They're 30, 30 <laughs> Chad, times 100, Chad, 30, 100 Chad, videos. Let's just say that. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm not. Chad, no. It's like every time I get on camera, you the math, math just, don't do math. You did a George Bush right there, buddy. <laughs> I did. No, it's, it's absolutely true. I feel like there's some neurological problem. That anytime I'm talking and trying to do math at the same time that I'm talking, I just can't. I, I, just, like, I should just sit and go, yeah, 3,000. There we go. <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've, I've heard. <laughs> so awesome. this is a show about YouTube because Leo doesn't watch YouTube. So you guys can tell me what I'm missing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, watch, I, I think I use YouTube like a lot of normal people, which is I don't kind of go to YouTube and, and browse through it. But when people send me links or I see something on Facebook or I'm hurt, I hear about a new meme, I will watch those videos. Those are the videos I see. And that's I, pretty. I would say that's pretty common, right? That's the that's the average way to watch YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you are you are perfect here on the show. So thank you. <laughs> I'm the yes. normal. So, on the show. <laughs> so what I what I first wanted to talk about is uh, YouTube. You know, they always do these new initiatives and new projects, and 
And so they're starting a new one called Comedy Week, which will actually be May 19th through the 25th. And it's a first ever. Uh, it will have Sarah Silverman, uh, Rain Wilson, if I pronounce his name wrong, sorry, but from The Office, Michael Sarah, Vince Vaughn, Seth Rogen, and then there'll be new videos from uh, uh, Andy Samberg's Lonely Island Troop. And then there will be some YouTubers like, you know, The Onion, Nerdist, College Humor, Funnier and Die, uh, Grace, Daily Grace will be there, uh, Ryan Higa will be doing some, uh, some of these. So it's, it's interesting that I wanted to put this in because YouTube has so many issues right now and on the site and they they have so many things to work on and they have so many small people need to come up yet they want to promote these outside these are the names these are the big names yeah and and i know they're comedy names but there's so much rich talent on yeah. youtube it's like why are we bringing in these people who have done it on on tv and i'm not hating on them don't get me wrong no i'm just, hating on them it feels like an odd mill. I'm, I'm hating on it. It's, it's just one more manifestation of something that's been going on forever, which is YouTube is enamored of Hollywood. They want to be a television network. They don't want to be an internet thing. They can't. How, how can they be both? I mean, the, the initiative of the giving out a million dollars to, what, 100 channels has largely failed. Yep. Uh, only a couple have come out of, have risen out of them yep. doing well. And they were established YouTubers who were doing well anyway. None of, none of the celebrity ones are doing well at all. I'd uh, say only Geek and Sundry is doing well out of all of them. But, but, and that's but because they were internet-based before. Yeah, Felicia Day is very internet-centric. Absolutely, yeah. She and I even was, wonder how well they're doing. I don't know if... Their views just, aren't fantastic, but they have a cult following. It's, you know, it's... it's a, I mean, it's a, just as a viewer, I haven't really been focusing on the numbers. The content they're making is my favorite out of all of the... At all of them. So they have 533,000 subscribers. That's not a huge number. Uh, is it? It's a it's a it's a it's, good number. It's, it's pretty a, decent. Yeah. Some of their uh, you know the guild has 1.8 million views. Yeah. So, you know, but and others others are in the 40, you know, anywhere from 16 to 50 to 60,000. A few of them are big. The ones with Felicia are the biggest, of course. Right. right. And I think this is something that even is true in TV, which is that it's all personality driven. Right. Oh, no, I think that's very, very true. So, they, so they're going to do this comedy week. They, they've already uh, have prepped in, their, in the article. It says, "Well, we know there's going to be a few missteps. We're going to keep this very loose." I'm like, yeah, you let us know that it's going to be very ghetto to begin, <laughs> to begin with. You know, they, they, they can't make it like TV. They're going to make it loose and hopefully fun. I mean, I'm going to tune in, but uh, I, I just wonder how many of these can they do before we get frustrated and say, "Hey, you know, what about the people that are already here?" You know, they, they're or, they, they, they could totally bring in all these new people. I, I don't know. Yeah, or until YouTube loses interest. There's been a few projects that oh, they, yeah. they've gotten behind in a big way, and then a few months later, it's not even, like, there's no staff on it. It's, it's not here's, even here's, just listen, this is the quote uh, from the Washington Post article about it mm -hmm. that tells tells me everything. This is from uh, Eric Wareheim, who's one of who's a, a part of Tim and Eric, will be uh, among the among yeah, Eric. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's going to be uh, higher production value. Everyone taking a home rather than a throwaway internet short. Make it a place where legitimate stuff can be and change the perception of what YouTube can be. So, okay, we say the lines. YouTube's not legitimate. Right, that's the It's cheesy internet production. And so we're going to come and we're going to make it legitimate. Bye bye. See ya. Good luck. Yeah. And they're bringing in producers from Jimmy Kimmel, former producer. They're bringing in TV producers to do this. Versus people who know internet and who understand the internet uh, to produce it. So, yeah, they're, they're telling us, yeah, you, you all who are doing this little, little stuff, you know, Lamar, your little channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It means, it means, no, you're not legitimate. Yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah. You go somewhere else. We're going to take over you. We'll take it from here, kids. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it just, uh, it you know what's good news? They're just old and in the way. <laughs> they're gone. They're history. Good luck. I mean, yeah, it just oozes. Fun. Yeah. It, YouTube is YouTube is the future, and it's YouTube channels that are from the ground up. Don't you think? Yeah, it, no. YouTube is a platform. I mean, it's like it's like they are now positioning the set themselves as a Comcast that they want to be more than just a dumb pipe. Enough of that dumb grumpy cat. We want legitimate. Energy. Right. Right. We don't we don't want to be the place that anyone can put videos on. We want to be a content connoisseur. Ch Charlie bit my finger. So down. Market. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's I'm going to throw this in the, in the rundown now there's a, uh, another article that was uh, actually remember we talked about Jenna Marbles last week she she reached a milestone she 
uh, went on Good Morning America and they lamb blasted her, like saying, you know, yeah, if you look at her, her blog, it was, if you want to watch this, it's a horrible interview uh, on, on how, how they really think of YouTubers as being. Uh, they, they're saying that, you know, she wouldn't have an audience if she wasn't on, on YouTube. No one, no regular person knows who she is. She, she's she's just, a, you know, she's a, pretty much a nobody. You got Lucky Girl. This tells so, you how scared mainstream media is. Yeah. As, as soon as they're, they're, just, they're terrified. You gotta see this. Yeah. Who is the queen of clicks. Her YouTube videos have been viewed by more than a billion. So many teens and tweens hanging on her every word. And ABC Cecilia Teens Vega and tweens, right? First. Not real people. It's kids. <laughs> Oh, hi! She might just be the most famous person you've never heard of. Well, I'm gonna tell you what I've been doing lately. Meet Jenna Marbles. At 26, Jenna has more than 1 billion. That's God, really I hate real TV. YouTube I know, right? More Look at this. Have a boing, boing, boing. Yeah. We know this is boring, so we're gonna give you fast graphics. We're making videos about, well, nothing. And Make videos about nothing, yeah. This was her very first video. Alex that's that's yeah, so let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, when, sure she, she was back. when she, yeah, when she didn't have any... More than one million uh, views in one weekend. This is like, it's insulting. Watching those numbers climb and climb and climb. I'm so jealous. It's crazy. Now, so once a week awesome. she makes a new video on everything from you. how to put on makeup when you're drunk to a day in the life of Jenna. In the shower, in the shower. <laughs> I wish I was counting the amount of times you use the word ridiculous in this interview. This video gets ridiculous. Make oh, come on. All right, just stop it. I'm sorry. This is so bad. I'm sorry. I agree. No, no, it, it, it got worse. It was just basically saying, why are you here? You got lucky. And I think it's I'm just a train trained professional yeah. working here on Good Morning America. Exactly. And who are you to be getting yeah. a billion views? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You, it, it's a it's, and what they didn't say is Jenna Marbles is highly educated. They did not mention that at all in the, in the video. They they sent her out to be some, some just some floozy who's just who just got lucky on the internet and she that is the total opposite of what she is. And it's just it's insulting, but it just goes back to how media perceives us. They don't take us do they take you seriously, Leo, one hundred percent? They don't know I exist because I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. They, but, but let me say this, and I'm not a fan of Jenna Marbles. I'm saying this as somebody who I don't appreciate her stuff. That's fine. The point of the internet is that people do their thing, and if people like it, then they get to do it. Uh, and so it doesn't matter whether I like it or not. The fact that mainstream media, you know, oh, you people. This, yeah, it's it, Andrew Keen uh, wrote a book called The Cult of the Amateur, in which he said, "Oh my God, <laughs> amateurs are now making content, and uh, how horrible is that? Let the professionals do the work." And I just think that's just it's. But you know what? It's old fashioned. It's not the way it is. And it, right, they're gonna lose, and they've been doing it, for and years. they're kicking and screaming as they go out. They're they're, they're scared, and that's what it is. Oh, so, so when you're scared, you lamb blast uh, right. your competition. Yeah. You're going to go, oh, you know, one day you might be as good as us, but not now. Andrew, the subtitle of Andrew Keene's book, by the way, Andrew's been on the show, and I actually like him. He lives up here. But the subtitle of his book is How Today's Internet is Killing Our Culture. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, because culture I, always stays the same, and right. it never changes. You know, if it's not Western European culture from the 17th and 18th century, I'm not interested. Yeah. I have to... Read that with a top hat on and drink his I know. You want to wear a monocle. <laughs> what a lovely example. No, good for Jenna. Uh, she she posted a, a blog uh, post in which she just lambasted him right back. And uh, and guess what? Good morning, America. God bless you. You know, I'm sure ABC makes more money than Jenna does. That's fine. Uh, but there's room for us all. And thank God you don't have to get through the gatekeepers anymore. Because you're right. Jenna Marbles probably would not be an anchor on Good Morning America. In a million oh. years, oh. and she's turned down traditional. Has she? The offers absolutely. Good for her. Good for she, her. She, she, she's doing better independent. Don't don't get so don't sell out to the man who doesn't like you. I've said that for years. Because all, all all they'll do is they'll they'll, they'll suck you. They'll, they'll suck all the life out of you. They'll turn yeah. you into another clone. Yeah, you don't want that. This no. is Jenna Marbles reporting. You know what? <laughs> how boring! How boring! Yeah. Exactly. All right. See. So how about something fun? Uh, is there, is there, because I just, the truth is I only watch a show. 
<laughs> from, from my face. <laughs> 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 no, I watch it too. Yeah, this is. I, I didn't see this until I was researching uh, a couple days ago. But my guy, this one is called Baby and Me. It's a, a it's an ad by Eat Evian. Evian. It's, a, it's Evian. a French drinking water. They never mentioned the, the the water at all, which is fantastic. Let's let's watch. He looks French. Oh, there's a baby. Oh, hey. It's in the mirror. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Something about dancing babies just always makes me laugh. Oh, 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 I love it. So people, are, for those listening, people are looking in a store window and they see themselves as babies dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> baby with a mustache. That's love maybe the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is brilliant. has a picture of Vivian Water drinking. Live young. Oh, see, their slogan is live young. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's, I love these kind of ads where they don't even mention anything about water about the whole video. It's just a fun video, and, it, and it's, it's linked at the end. That's just that's genius to me. That's how all advertisement should be. Right. And yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Don't sell, don't sell the car. Put the pretty late. No, that, we shouldn't do that anymore. That, no, no, not sexism. That's wrong. Yeah, but uh, but, that, but that's what they did back in the day, right? I mean, to sell a car, that they, they didn't mention a the car, they put a pretty lady on top, right? Uh, except for yeah. Hyundai. Yeah, so that, but well, yeah, you can't make it Hyundai pretty at all, right? It's not possible. <laughs> now, what were they thinking? So <laughs> Hyundai got in trouble because, uh, well, they had an ad. Well, or if you're GoDaddy. Well, go daddy. Those yeah. ads are horrible. No Hyundai. Did no, that. I mean it's it's because the culture is has realized uh, the culture's more. So more Hyundai, refined. So, so what nowadays, do you think of this? Hyundai did an ad. They're promoting the fact that their cars have zero emissions. Guy gets in the car, tries to kill himself. He can't because there's no emissions. Oh yes, yeah. that's a little. I don't well, know if that's know, the way I to sell that. Car. That's on that the one. edge. I didn't know that was about suicide. <laughs> what? He, the air is so clean in here. It's so fresh. <laughs> I had no idea. Why. You did not. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to explain that. No, no. It, it's now it's sad. I, I, I thought you were talking about something else. Yeah. So you can go. I think you can go too far in this stuff. Now I have to say, I, I, in some ways, I'm not crazy about the fact that YouTube is becoming a place where people put their uh, their TV ads. Really, I, I don't know. I, I don't I mean, know. It's fun to watch them though. I get yeah. it. And then you don't have to, you know, you don't have those TV programs crapping it up, right? You right. can really just watch the ads, which is all you really want to do. Right? Exactly. You know, that Game of Thrones stuff. Ugh. Get rid of that. I just well, want to watch the ads. Game of Thrones. Well, you, then you're sorry. There's Leo. no ads on Game of Thrones. Exactly. I can't enjoy that's it. the problem. Is it's on HBO <laughs> without any ads? We need it's, more ads. I think yeah. that's what's wrong with Game of Thrones. I, I think why this has 40 million plus views also is that uh, I believe they made it a pre-roll. And this is the time, this is the kind of pre-roll I start watching. Like if I see interest like this in the first few seconds, I'll right. sit there. Well, that's sit interesting. There do they yeah. count pre-roll uh, yes, as a views? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. They, yes, they do. If you sit there and watch it, yes, they do. Oh, you have to watch the whole thing. Though. You yeah, can't I, press I, the skip. I, I I, I, no, you can't press skip. Skip won't be a, a, a view. But if you sit there, I don't know what the metric is, if it's halfway, hmm. whatever. But if right. you watch it for a certain amount of time, they get it. And that's the only way the pre-roll gets me is that in the first three seconds, if there's something... That has intrigued me enough that I'm that hey, it's funny. I want to keep watching. I mean that that ad is the perfect pre-roll um, ad. Now yeah. a company that's been very successful in the past making these viral videos is Dove, and and, and I really actually like these ads. And this one got a lot of attention again. They've done very well with this. This is the uh, Dove Real I showed up to a place I'd never been, and there was a guy with a drafting board. He couldn't see them, he couldn't see us. Tell me about your hair. I didn't know what he was doing, but then I could tell after several questions that he was drawing. So she's describing herself mm -hmm. about which one? to a police sketch artist. Yeah, they can't see right. each other. Especially when I smile. 
your jaw. My mom told me I had a big jaw. Always be your most prominent. By the way, beautiful. Fat, rounded face. Yeah, this would be fine. The older I've gotten, the more freckles I've gotten. Oh yes, I, this is one of those ads that after you watch, you just feel good about yourself. You are not even feel good, but you feel enlightened. I say thank you very much, and then they leave. I don't see them. Now this is three minutes long. It's too long to show on television. Right, and I don't know if this would even work on television. This is a little more thoughtful. No, this is for some blogs. Now, now, now they're asking a person that they've met. General questions about her face. She was thin, so you could see her cheekbones. And her chin, it was a nice, thin chin. <laughs> she had nice eyes. They lit up when she spoke. Cute. She had blue eyes, very nice blue eyes. So they're going to show you the sketches, right, side so by people, side. When they describe themselves and when this, other people describe this themselves. This is a sketch. Oh, you my help God. <laughs> and that's a sketch. That's What's amazing is... They actually do <coughs> look. They look like the same person. I, well, they don't look like the same. Uh, yeah, you can tell it's her. You can tell it's her, but there's definite, definite differences. Oh, yeah. One's and, kinda... and, and there's a strong moral here, obviously. You know, the way you look at yourself is not how other people look at you. It's some beautiful. people are saying now, and this is part of our fake, not fake. Are these? Yeah. Yeah, this is, is this legit? Thing. Did this I guy want, really do this? I, I, I want to be a little cynical here and say this might be a fake. They're a little too that, close. Don't you think? These are these are a little bit too too accurate, too close. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a good message about your face. They don't have to talk about uh, soap at all. They're talking about just being beautiful. But what Jeff has done always is show done. the. the it, it, they've been doing this for a few years, which is to talk about uh, body body image and right. and, uh, and Dove, how Dove doesn't want to sell you makeup. They want to sell you soap. Right. This isn't about soap. No. It's well, it's it's about it's, body image. It's about yeah. body image, but it's also, I mean, as an ad campaign, if you're going to be very cynical, here's why it works. There, th this is a. Go ahead. It works because it makes uh, Dove on the side of women. Right. And women who buy Dove products are going to love Dove, not because of the product at all, but because they like the company, and they like the message that the company's. Mm -hmm. but, and they've been doing yeah. this consistently. Uh, they did one ones with big big models, you know, heavier women. Saying, you know, uh, this is bogus that we celebrate these extremely skinny uh, women. This is not normal. Yeah. And I, th I, I think that's actually a very smart campaign. Positioning yeah. themselves is on the side of women. I, I didn't get a chance to see it. Someone in the chat mentioned I heard about it. There's a male spoof version of this. Which <laughs> well, that's what I'm more interested <laughs> in. Because this, uh, this begs to be... Uh, yeah. It, I, it, it begs to be spoofed. Yeah. It begs to be... It's a little self-serious. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go with fake. I, I don't. I don't think this is one hundred percent accurate. I don't. I'm interested. What do you think, Leo? Do you think this was a real? Lit, this guy really got it perfect. I like that. Well, I think these guys must be able to do this, or there wouldn't be. They wouldn't have a business. Yeah. Sketching criminals, right? They must be able to get pretty close. And and I've, I, yeah. I mean, so here's the parody. Okay. Oh, can I you get sound from my? You, it's very low. So oh, wait a minute. Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. I showed up at this place I'd never been before, and it, it looks like Josh went to Polsky. It does. Well, I couldn't see him, and he couldn't see me. <laughs> so he started asking me some questions to describe myself. Same hokey music. After a while, I Same. Tell that he was drawing. Out of focus, he's drawing with a sharpie. No, that's a cool one. Told I have a broad jaw. <laughs> How would you describe your nostrils? Meryl. Meryl. Very well. Two dark lines of hair. I have above average eyelash length. <laughs> the kind of beard that every man would like to have. I have radiant skin. Pouty lips. Handsome eyes that people just want to look into for hours. I don't know. I I never really looked into my own eyes. Once I get a sketch, I say thank you very much. Then they leave. This is hilarious. I don't see them. And before I interviewed, they asked me to talk to this absolute douchebag named Daryl. <laughs> Today I'm going to ask you some questions about a person I earlier. And I'm going to ask you some general questions about his face. Yes, I feel like I'm being really harsh. One, one thing is, because of his cross-eyed, I feel like he would be excellent at looking at two different things at the same time. <laughs> and I was like, soulless eyes. Like a raptor, like a bird of prey. <laughs> His nostrils 
Because yeah. someone is asking if Dove did this themselves. Oh my God. Maybe they did. The smartest thing for them would be to do this. <laughs> who made this? I don't know, but somebody who knows what they're doing. This is all very professional man, and very well written. It's Cladwell Man. I don't know who that uh, is. It's a, it's a random YouTube brand. Is it a brand? Um, no, 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 it's, it's somebody with two videos on their channel. Oh, yeah. well, they're good. Yeah, it's probably an ad agency who said, I hate that Dove kit. <laughs> it's screw them. So here we are. It's Palm Olive. This is the sketch that you helped me create. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's, well, it's Zac it's Efron versus... <laughs> it's... <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly. <laughs> I think that's Matt Damon on this side. Really? I'm a lot better looking than I thought it was. You're actually the other one. Zach <laughs> Efron and some other guy. Yeah. Yeah, you suck at drawing. You suck at drawing, he says. <laughs> Oh my god. Frank oh, is now, so funny. Now I hate the dove ad and I love this ad. <laughs> yes. And the tagline, you might not be as good looking as you think. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think this is an ad for a company, Cladwell. I think they make they make clothes or something. Huh. I think so. Oh, okay. They make vinyl siding. Let, let's just see. I'm going to Cladwell.com. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a shopping it's a shopping site. In which oh, apparently wow. you can buy Steve genius. McQueen. I don't. That's funny. Isn't that great? See, that's brilliant. Get your ad agency to send it up. I see. That's what YouTube's about. You can't do this on TV. This is this YouTube. It has a place. You know. And the other thing that strikes me is that uh, none of these um, have any importance by themselves. If you're just at home and you watch it and that's it, fine. But what really makes any of these work is that you go talk to your friends about it. You, it becomes part of the culture and part of the conversation, and yes. then we share it. It's it's the sharing of the video. I mean, is that is that obvious? It's probably obvious. Mm -hmm. No, it is. But it's one hundred percent obvious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the, and I think about the best TV was the TV that you would the next morning you'd go. Did you see what happened on Johnny last night? That that really what. A sh a nothing succeeds until you and your friends are talking about it. And then it has succeeded, and that's what viral means. It's not. It's not. I guess what I'm saying is not number of views. Those you can have a million views all by themselves. It would be wouldn't be meaningful. It's when people are talking about it, they tell their friends, they share it, they send it out. That's what really, yeah, is the key to success, regardless of whether you have a million or ten thousand or five hundred. It's so. It's, so it's a it's a good lesson for anyone who's a, who's watching this, who's a content creator. Like myself, you know, I, I had one kid, a kid of all, uh, you know, surprised me, said, you know, that every, he told me in a message that every video you should, you should make every video as if it could go viral. Right. And, and, and just that passion of having something where 